Hey everyone, welcome to Cooking Companion TV. I'm Jenna Edwards, and this is a recipe demo of Salmon Riette from chef Eric Repairs Le Bernardin in New York City. He posted this recipe on his Instagram, and it's in the restaurant's amuse-bouche rotation. Before your meal begins, the kitchen will bring a complimentary bite of something special and fantastic to get your palate and stomach excited for the rest of the night. I figure a Michelin-starred chef and his team know their way around fish, and I thought this would be fun to try. So give this video a thumbs up if you like it and let's get right to it. We start with super fresh salmon cut into one inch cubes. This is sashimi grade salmon just because it gets barely cooked and I had easy access to super fresh fish. I recommend measuring a part of your finger so you always have an idea of what's an inch. For me it's the tip of my pinky and I'm scoring the fish first so I can get my measurements in place. I'm just being fussy because it's an Eric repair recipe. You don't have to be. I'm also making half a recipe, so I'm using half a pound of boneless, skinless salmon. Next, make sure your knife is super sharp because we are finally mincing a shallot. For half a recipe, it's half a tablespoon of minced shallot. In a large saucepan, bring one cup of white wine to a boil along with the shallots. Then reduce to a simmer over medium low heat. Simmer until the shallots are tender about two to three minutes. Add the salmon pieces and cook them just until they're opaque, which means they're no longer translucent, but they're not cooked well done. This is also just two to three minutes. Basically, as soon as you put them in, you'll need to start uh, turning over the pieces um, individually so they cook evenly. Remove the salmon pieces from the wine and strain the shallots out. Here's my opaque salmon. It's not raw, but it's you know done all the way through. It's a medium rare, I guess, if that could apply to fish. The salmon pieces and shallots will cool completely in the fridge on a sheet pan lined with a towel. It does not take long, really, but we have other things to do. We need to dice smoked salmon, one and a half ounces, and chop a tablespoon of fresh chives. Now, Chef includes a recipe for handmade mayonnaise, which I did not attempt. I'll include the directions in the post, but you'll also need to measure out one and a half tablespoons of lemon juice and you need a quarter cup of mayonnaise one way or the other. Once the cooked salmon is cooled, add it to a stainless steel bowl along with the smoked salmon, chives, and shallots. Spoon in a little bit of mayonnaise and the lemon juice, but not all of it, not, not everything that you measured out. We'll just add it to taste. So gently stir it together. We aren't trying to turn it into mush. We're just trying to combine everything together. Take a taste and decide which way to go. I only used half of my measured mayo and I even think that much is too greasy. So I added more lemon juice and I added a teaspoon of Dijon mustard to get a sharper bite. Now remember to season with salt and pepper too. That does help. And I did notice that it needs time to set. It tasted better the next day when the flavors had time to really meld into each other, but it was also refreshing and comforting. Now at Le Bernardin, they'll thinly slice a baguette and serve you just two little bites of the riette that way. I am craving crisp, cruciferous things lately, so I opted for the tips of romaine lettuce leaves. The half recipe was just enough for a light dinner for two. It was fun to feel fancy making it. And next time, I might try the handmade mayo. That's it for this recipe demo of salmon riette with chef Eric Repair at Le Bernardin in New York City. Get the ingredient list below or at cookingcompaniontv.com slash salmon riette. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe to the channel for more demos just like this. I'm Jenna Edwards and thanks for watching.